Another strategy that we might ask our students to try is to demonstrate with concrete materials. And what we mean by concrete materials is our manipulatives. We have a unit, which is equal to one. A rod, which is equal to a 10. A flat is equal to 100. And we have a cube that would equal 1,000. So if I was to give an example, what is 31 times 24? They would then show me 31 times 24. I have already told you that our tens are shown by rods. One, two, three. There's my three tens. 10, 20, 30. And I already said that a unit is a one, and a unit looks like that. So now I've illustrated to you with concrete materials, 31. Now I'll do the same thing down here with 24. 10, 20, and then my four units. Here's what we have to do. We have to say, what is a rod multiplied by a rod? So for people at home, you can think of it as, what is 10 groups of 10 or 10 times 10? Well, people are going to know that 10 times 10 is 100, but I'm not going to write 100 in here. I am instead going to use my concrete material, my manipulative, and I, my concrete material is a flat. 10 groups of 10 is 100, and a, a flat represents 100. I have that again right here. 10 groups of 10 is 100. I can repeat that process right here. Now, here it's a little different. I've got my rod down here, which we know equals 10. 10 times one is 10. We know that 10 is a rod. Again, 10 times one is 10. We have to continue filling in all this space right here. One times 10 is 10. One times 10 is 10. And you can see that this process has continued. They would just replicate that pattern. The next thing they would have to do then is they would have to take their smallest number and see if they could do any regrouping or trading. In order to trade something, I need at least 10. So I can't trade anything here. However, if you look at my rods, you can see that I can do some trading. I can choose any 10 of these rods. Remember, these all represent 10 each. I am trading those 10 for a flat because 10 rods makes one flat. There is no more trading that I can do because if I move on to my flats that are here, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the seven, so I can't do any more trading. So what will my answer be to this equation? I have one, two, three, four. There's my four units. How many tens do I now have, or rods as we would call them? I have one right here, two, three, four. How many flats or hundreds do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, and this is the commonly missed one then, seven. So I've just demonstrated to you that 31 times 24 is 744.